Next news is out of New York. A Hindu priest attacked near Temple in New York. Says the suspect was arrested. Um, this one's kind of a strange story because there was a, a Hindu priest who was wearing his religious attire. Um, he was outside of the temple when this man, Sergei Govea, um, charged him and started beating him. The police have found him and arrested him and said this had nothing to do, this isn't a hate crime. It had nothing to do with um, him being a Hindu priest. However, the people who witnessed this attack heard him cry, this is my neighborhood, during the assault. And they assumed that he was screaming, this is my neighborhood, during the assault, because he didn't want somebody that looked like uh, the Hindu priest standing out there. I don't know. Um, the police are, are happy. Um, people from the community are happy the police worked so hard to arrest him so fast. Um, and they still tied this to Donald Trump last week, uh, saying that four Democratic congresswomen of color need to go back to their countries. Uh, so um, don't guys, please don't try. OK, I'm, I don't like Trump. I'm against Trump. But please start blaming everything on the, everything. It's, it just sounds like the. I mean, it might be, but you don't know. OK, it might be because exactly. of Trump, but you don't know. It just sounds like the Muslims and the Hindus that want to blame everything on the British Empire, right? It's just like everything is Donald Trump's fault, right? It might, I, you know, don't do not do this, guys. It makes, even if you're opposed to Trump, it just makes your opposition look ridiculous, okay? And again, I'm not saying it is or not. I'm just saying you don't know. Don't just... We don't, don't know. Yeah. It was, and, and that's what needs to be very, you know prevalent here is that it was thrown in there as some sort of like this is related to what Trump had to say but the truth of the matter is that has never um it's never been verified right so it's the police is saying we don't know if this is a hate crime right they're not saying it's not okay I don't are they not saying it's not a hate crime they're saying I think like I did I mean they need proof to make it a hate the crime investigators said that at present they were not treating the incident as a hate crime yeah but okay but a lot of people they think like oh so the police is saying this is not a hate crime no that's not how that's not how it works you don't treat it you do, when you don't treat it like a hate crime you're just saying we don't have evidence for it to be a hate crime that doesn't mean you're claiming that it's not a hate crime those are two different things right claiming it right. you know they're not going out and saying we know that this was not a hate crime, right? So, I mean, I think be, be grateful to the police. The guy was arrested. Somebody was beaten up. The police did their job. The, the person was arrested. Thank you, police. Be a pre be grateful. I hope like people are not saying like, oh, the police is being racist. They're not saying this is a hate crime. By the way, I don't. I I think Ali, you agree with me on this. I don't even think that. Um, I mean, if you punch somebody, whether it's a hate crime or not. Shouldn't the punishment be the same? Like, why Why does it need to be a hate crime or not? Like, no, remember, you and I disagreed with that. I okay. believe that hate crimes are very important um, to establish the reason as to why, because the punishment does need to be harsher. If, if you come up to me and punch me because I owe you $10, mm. right? Um, you can chalk that up to, you know what? I lost my temper. That was terrible of me. You'll spend a year in prison, if that. Um, you know, and, and you and I can, can reconcile when you get out, even while you're in there, it's fine. But if you come up to me and say, Hey, I think you look like a Muslim, so I'm going to beat the hell out of you. And you beat me up. That's who you are, right? That's you hate me. You, you hit me because you hate me and you need more time in prison to rehabilitate yourself to to ingrain yourself with other ideas and other beliefs before you're safe to come out because that's not something you and i can just reconcile right away like hey you lost your temper no you set out to commit a crime because you hate somebody okay so i think it's very important that they spend more time in jail okay okay but that's that uh, that's i would agree with that in for one reason okay not because somebody deserves more punishment, okay? If if it's exact same crime, let's say I punch you in the face because you owe me $10 and you never gave me, or I punch you in the face because you're gay, okay? The harm is the same. So in that, I think if the harm is the same, the reason why I would argue the punishment should have been the same was because, the, the, you know, if you're, if you're thinking about, again, this is not the point of the justice system to give people punishment that they deserve because it's not about revenge right right but regards to the punishment if it was about punishment 
um, then these two were equal. But you mentioned re rehab, okay? And that's why I think you're right. It should be longer. Not because you deserve to be suffer more, because you, ca you cause the same amount of pain in, in somebody. No, it's because it's harder to fix you, right? Right. Right? It's hard. Um, but the problem is that the, I don't know if the prison system is even doing anything when it comes to rehab. They right? do. They, they have do? programs. Okay. Every prison system has programs, especially geared towards uh, hate crime and violence. Right, right. So, I mean, I believe the justice system, and I think you agree, the point of the justice system is not to satisfy people's uh, d desire for revenge. Right. The point of the justice system is to create a society where less crime happens and more people are protected. Even if people are punishment, it's not because they deserve it. It's because, you know, we've maybe we have seen studies that punishment deters more crimes. Right. That's why we punish people, not because we just want them to suffer because they su made other people suffer. I mean, I right. understand why personally, emotionally, we want, may might want that, but I expect more from a ju justice system. Even if I don't expect that from a mother or from a loved one that's lost somebody, yeah, I understand that emotionally we want somebody to suffer if they cause us harm, but from a justice system, I expect a higher standard. Um, and so I, and if by that argument that you said, yeah, I agree, it should be longer because so making some fixing that kind of mentality might, is more challenging and it takes more time. But I'm hoping it doesn't backfire and you don't come out more hateful because I don't know if I heard the op opposite react. Um, you know, anyways. Yeah. Uh, but let me see what uh, Chopin has, has to say because he's not here. He was supposed to be here for the story. Uh, you should mention to the to those Hindu nationalists that AR doesn't only talk against Hinduism but also talks against attacks even when the victims are Hindus. I mean, should I mention that, Shubham? Should I mention that? Like, does that really, does that really have to be said? Like, I mean, I mean, it's, sadly, I, I think it does. <laughs> sadly, I do. I mean, I don't want to say it because it's like, oh, we even care about Hindus. E I mean, even Hindus. Like, I know. I mean, I think that's. Of, of course, we care about Hindus. Why wouldn't we care about Hindus? I mean, if somebody thinks that we are. Because, by the way, for people that don't know, we have been criticizing Hinduism <coughs> recently, so some people might think, like, we hate Hindus. So that Chopin is responding to that. But honestly, if somebody... F I, I don't want to give up on anybody, uh, but so, but to be fair, somebody that thinks that they're, too, they're probably too far gone. I'm not sure, but... Uh, I feel like I feel like you don't... You shouldn't be congratulating yourself for covering a story... Uh, that is an attack on Hindu and be like, look, look, we we care, we we think that beating up Hindus is a bad thing. Like, okay, like, should we give ourselves a medal for thinking? <laughs> Obviously, right? Like, I don't, I, I really feel shitty for even saying it. Like, like I think these are things that should go without saying. But as Ellie points out, uh, I guess it's not. I guess we do have to say it. Um, Shropam is saying uh, they love to say that attacks against Hindus are ignored. Um, yeah, a, a Muslims say that. You know, we cover attacks on Muslims, and every time we attack, we cover an Islamic. Like so, we when Muslims are attacked, we cover it here. But every time we mention an Islamic terrorist attack, we have Muslims come saying like, "Oh, you wouldn't cover this if." If it was an attack on Muslims, what about this? What about, and they keep on sending us links. They're like, yeah, we know. We covered those as well. Um, Shubham is saying, I agree with Ali. Hate crimes need to be dealt with somewhat differently from regular crimes. Yes, some, differently, but because, because it's more challenging to fix, not because the, the offender, not because the offender deserves to be punished more. I agree with that. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we're doing the same in other languages. 
With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.